No nation write it again once more with another dance all update. And basically today's update is basically Paula Llewellyn should resign. Basically. You see me I say? I'm going to come talk about it. But before we get into it, remember to like the video, get the notification bell so you can be notified when we drop new videos. Now people without further ado, we go jump into it. And basically state. You see me I say? Some information we may look on right now. Um, an article came out. I'm going to read what it has say. And we can talk about it after. Now it states that um, a more stingy view of the role of the Director of Public Prosecutions, Paul Llewellyn, KC, means King Council, in securing an unsafe conviction came from Matando K. Mukulu, a practicing barrister in the United Kingdom. Now we felt that the DPP's position is no longer tenable. And if nobody wanna know if nobody wanna know what word they mean, it means yes I mean I say her position should not be held. She should she not hold up in the position at the EPP. She should just resign and leave the job. You know what I mean? It should no longer be that she is the director of public prosecution. Basically, it's saying that he's saying in quotation, it is always good when the judicial system corrects a fundamental procedural error so that fairness is applied, Mukulu told the Sunday Glena. He said again, however, it is obvious to those who care to see that the position of the Director of Public Prosecution, who played an instrumental role in securing an unsafe conviction in circumstances where a new trial should have been directed, is no longer tenable. He added, it is inconceivable that members of the public still have confidence in Miss Llewellyn when, as an officer of the court and the KC King's, King's Council, she encouraged the judge to in effect ignore the constitution. She should do what the right thinking people are saying. Jamaica now deserves a new DPP. So on the earth for yourself people. This brother Yamakolo, he's a barrister, yes what I say, in the United Kingdom and basically the man I say, yo, which she giving such bad advice to the judge to carry on with the trial. Yes, so I say she should no longer hold any position at the Director of Public Prosecution after she should just resign. Yes, so I say because initially, when them find out this brother here, I try to bribe the jury, the correct thing to do is start a new trial, people. And they did not do that. They not follow out the correct procedure. Yes, so I say they take it up on themselves and continue with it. And yes, so I say convict these men. And they wrongfully convict them. You see what I say? And that's one of the main things the, the, the Privy Council basically I tell them. Say, so listen to me, hey, it no matter how many days you no gone in upon the trial, you no should have started a new trial. Because everything is to be dealt with in fairness. But Paula Llewellyn Paula not deal with fairness. She just deal with hurry come up thing. Hurry come up thing. And you know what I say? Yes. Hurry come up and yes. You see me I say and yes make ways. I hope she said that and I hope she realized that. You know what I mean? So basically what this barrister here says basically she should step down. She should she shouldn't hold any position at the director of public prosecution office. You see me I say she and Jeremy Taylor, they should resign. You see me I say they should resign because they paint a bad picture of the 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 the, 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 the DPP's office. And to be honest, them try to make it seem as if a vibe cartel are the villain when she is actually the villain. Yes, what I mean, I say. And as I said in a previous videos before this, a lot of these officials, government officials, head of states, a lot of these people, them obsessed with vibes cartel merely because he's influential. And a lot of them want influence over people. They want to control people. Them can't do that. Yes, what I mean, I say. Vibes Cartel use music. Music. To really reach to the people. People can relate to his music. Yes, what I mean, I say. But really and truly politicians and other states, they want control and power over people. Vibes Cartel now look power and control over people. Vibes Cartel is just singing relatable songs where people can relate to. Yes, what I mean, I say. Singing about his life. And people can relate to that. So people just gravitate. So really and truly, it's just like a magnetism. You see me? I say, him have a vibrant aura. And people just, we are basically say, attracted to that aura. You know what I mean? So and a really power and control cartel want. The politicians and the head of states who sees his influence, them want that. 
and them say oh he might use music and I do it if you notice the politician them nowadays they might use music in a them campaign because them realize that music is the way to the people so when them see a man now where lyrically lyrically potent like vibes cartel i put out some relatable lyrics and i show the people them the right them envy that them envy that kind of themselves them are sure that them have the influence upon the people because them know that vibes cartel is for the people vibes cartel is from the people and the people make vibes cartel know that fair facts say listen me you are the one where really and truly are open my eyes to certain things because cartel sings some really social relatable songs you know what i mean whole heap of songs that get to youth can relate to and looking at it and say boy you know say a real thing the teacher talk every youth out there have a cartel song with them rate you know what i mean i just one of them thing there so as i said other yeah, state and government official them not like them thing there so the influence them hate the fact that the man have the influence you see me I say, and the people them look to the G, you see me I say, for motivation and inspiration. But I'm not trying to stray from the narrative of the topic which is Paula Llewellyn should resign and Jeremy Taylor should resign also. Because he is the deputy DPP, you see me? So if she go, him can go too. Because as I said, them paint a bad, bad, bad image of the DPP's office with what them do. And then try to, you see me I say, make it look like a vibes cartel are the worst individual when really and truly under the covers are really them. But what you are going on? No matter what them do, Adi, I go see road. The whole world know that. You see how much worldwide news media a broadcast say the you thing overturn and the case squash and them something there. You see how much tabloids international tabloids I broadcast it why the influence of Vibes Cartel have on the world so no matter what them do and what them friend I try them can't stop Vibes Cartel and Gaza Nation and I have to tarry upon I have to tarry upon the topic just a little short topic you see me so with that being said this is where I'm going to end the update if you have anything to say feel free to leave it in the comment section you see me I say you never can tell probably your comment can spark a next update remember to like the video watch the video share the video like the playlist watch the playlist share the playlist and don't forget to watch the ad scene people so until the next time on the next topic i'm out